Hey y'all, what's up? So today we are talking about the three different types of courses that you can run. These are the three main overarching types. When you've decided that you are going to create an online course, these are the three options that you're gonna be looking at, okay? So let's go ahead and roll into this video. So the first type of course is going to be a live course. This is a live course. Now, most people, when they tell you about course creation and how you should create a course, your first course should be live. Everybody's first course should be live. In my opinion, if you ask any other coaches, they're probably going to tell you the same thing. It should be live. Why? One, because you don't want to go into creating a whole bunch of content that people do not consume. Um, your Two, your curriculum is probably not where it needs to be. Even if you feel like you know everything that you need to know or you feel like you know everything that the person needs to learn, that does not mean that your curriculum is good. Just because you teach everything that you know someone needs to know in order to accomplish such and such task or achieve such and such result does not mean that your curriculum is going to be good. It does not mean that people are going to have a great learning experience in your program. So what happens is when you run it live the first time, you get that live interaction you get that live feedback and so it makes it a lot easier for you to adjust your course and adjust your course curriculum if you do not run your program live it becomes very very hard to do that and it's very hard to really like understand who your audience is what they need and how you can take your curriculum or your course to the next level especially if you're thinking about doing something like increasing the price after your first round or something like that like you really need that live interaction and live feedback so live just means that you are showing up live to teach that's what it means okay you're showing up live to teach there's not any or there's not any pre-recorded lessons okay if you pre-record lessons and you're still showing up live that is a different course type that we'll get to in just a minute but live it means that you are teaching live every week or bi-weekly or monthly or whatever it is you are teaching live so hybrid course is our second type of course hybrid okay what you can do is you can pre-record the teaching portion of your online course and then you can show up weekly bi-weekly or monthly to do a live q a or a live hot seat coaching or a live role play whatever you want to call it okay so that makes it hybrid because some of it's pre-recorded and some of it's live hybrid is my personal favorite i do run all of my courses the first time i run them and all of my programs i run them live the first time any cohort after that and i do cohort style i don't do evergreen but any cohort after that is hybrid they get access to the previous recordings from the previous cohort that first cohort or even the second cohort because I've, I've had the longest program i ever ran i ran it for five cohorts and depending on where you came in you got access to the recordings of the previous cohort and you got the ability to come to your own live sessions so it added a lot of value on so when people came in on cohort two they got access to the cohort one recordings and they showed up live for their teachings okay same thing with cohort three they got access to the recordings from cohort one and two same exact lessons same exact curriculum some of the curriculum had changed a little bit just because bring a lot about what my enrollment my en enrolled students needed so the curriculum changed a little bit but they got access to all of it like they got to see everything the entire process and some of the course the modules had extra lessons and all this kind of stuff there was a ton that i had to add a bonus section because there was so much stuff that I didn't realize people needed that I ended up going back and adding and that's the benefit of running a live cohort and for people who enroll in a live cohort or a hybrid cohort the added benefit of for them is that they get access to a lot of knowledge that probably was not represented on the sales page or a lot of you know bonus um, access to a lot of bonus activities and bonus sessions and all these questions and things that you just did not include when you were selling the course initially because it didn't exist but now that you're running it live and people are asking questions and you're like oh i have a template for that i could just add it in there oh i have a video already on that i can just add that in there for y'all they get a lot of value out of that so hybrid is my favorite because it doesn't require as much time as live but i still get that live connection because i do appreciate the live connection the third type of course is a self-study course this is the one that you're probably most familiar with 
If you've been thinking about creating an online course, you're probably thinking about creating it as a self-study because self-study courses are 100% um, passive income, but it is very hard to create a self-study course, like I said, without running that live cohort first. Self-study courses are courses where you pre-record the videos or you pre-record the, uh, you write the information out, create all the homework and all that. People can enroll anytime that they want and they just go in, they learn on their own. If they have questions, they drop them in the comment section below the videos and you or someone on your team responds to those questions. But there are a lot of people who really love self-study courses, especially if the self-study still has videos in it. And I do a lot of course creation. I do course creation for my clients where we actually like organize the recording of things and we have them come in like my clients get to come in and sit down and we have an entire like organized production day for them so we get all of their course recording done in like one six hour fast-paced production day which makes it very convenient for them but most of them are creating self-study courses and i don't think it's bad i think it depends on who your idol client is so like for me like i said personally that's not my learning style so i would not enroll in a self-study course but let's say for example if i was trying to learn like a new skill or a side hustle and i was still working a nine to five or if i was trying to learn something to help me be better at my nine to five or my career job or whatever i do full time then I would probably opt for a self-study course because with self-study, I don't have to worry about showing up live every single week or bi-weekly or monthly at a certain time. I can just log in and learn on my own time. So for someone who's busy, someone who is a um, high achiever that's super busy or has kids or works a, a hectic job, self-study is the option that they want because they know they can't show up live. So it really just depends on who your ideal client is, but those are the three types of courses. So we've got live, fully live, we've got hybrid, and we have self-study. Now let's talk a little bit about this difference between cohort and evergreen, because I kind of just glazed over that and I started just throwing a word out there and I don't wanna do that to y'all, okay? There are two different types of enrollment styles. So you've got cohort and then you have evergreen. Cohort means that everyone comes in at one time and they start at one time. So when you do a cohort of your online course, you're gonna have a doors open and a doors closed closed date which means enrollment is going to be open for a limited amount of time and when doors open that means that your course is available for open enrollment and when doors close that means the enrollment is closed and no one else can join the course at that time they have to wait until you open the doors back up again this is most similar to collegiate style hey if you want to go into fall semester 2023 you have to apply by this day we'll let you know if you're accepted by this day and then this is the first day of school if you miss that deadline, you gotta wait until spring semester of 2024. Here's the application deadline. Here's the enrollment deadline. Don't miss it, because if you do, you gotta wait till summer semester of 2024. So that's how the collegiate style of enrollment works. Now the difference between collegiate style of enrollment and current course enrollment for most entrepreneurs or most course creators is that there's not such a long wait time. Like it's not like you gotta apply by this time and then we let you know by this time. Like it's, you have, seven days seven to ten days normally is how long the doors are open you've got seven to ten days the doors are open submit your application we'll let you know within 24 hours if your application is approved or rejected if it's rejected we're going to downsell you into something that is a better fit for where you are currently if you are ready to enroll in the program we will approve your application and send you the link to enroll it's very quick okay it's very quick and you want it to be very quick you want to give like you don't want your doors to be open for any more than seven to ten days because for you to commit to looking over people's applications manually and approving or denying them following up with people to make sure they get in and prepping for you to actually start teaching like you don't want to be in that type of a hectic environment for a really long time so most people do not leave their doors open for more than 10 days at a time when it comes to enrollment now you've got pre-enrollment which is like way longer so your pre-enrollment time period may be you know three or four weeks where you're amping up and revving up and you may have a lead magnet that you got and you promoting that lead magnet some people do ebooks as lead magnets some people do worksheets some people do um like a live challenge or a webinar so you're definitely going to take a lot longer like three or four weeks to get people into your lead magnet but as far as the actual course open enrollment time period seven to ten days so that's cohort style then on the other side you have 
evergreen style okay so evergreen means that anybody can enroll at any time they can start whenever whatever but there are two different types of evergreen there's evergreen where they have lifetime access so it's evergreen they can just they get access to it whatever but then there's also evergreen closed access so evergreen closed access means you can enroll anytime you want but this is a 12 week course or a 10 week course so you only have access for 10 weeks or you only have access for 12 weeks most of the time people do evergreen closed when their course is open enrollment but there's a live element so for example if you're having a hybrid course where some of it's pre-recorded and some of it's live and you're showing committing to showing up live for 10 weeks at a price point of $2,500 you don't want somebody to pay $2,500 and then have lifetime access and they pay $2,500 two years ago and you still have to show up every single week or bi-weekly to fulfill the promise that you made that person when they made that purchase so you have to think about it um, if you're doing live or you're doing hybrid and you're thinking I want to do evergreen and I want to just leave it open you might want to look at doing evergreen closed access meaning they are evergreen closed access meaning they have a limited amount of time to access the course information and attend the live sessions you could also do um, evergreen and closed access where they enroll they get lifetime access to the content curriculum but they only get 10 weeks of, of live access to you so there's a lot of different ways you can kind of take some of the elements from each of these and mix them together but the major differences are live hybrid self-study evergreen cohort style okay so those are the three different types of courses that you can have and the two different types of enrollment styles this video actually brought up some ideas for me i think i'm going to do another video on like 10 ways you can get people enrolled into your course because i want to keep going with this course creation series and put it into a playlist for y'all if you are interested in recording your online course and having me build it or having me build and help you record your online course i am accepting new clients for that just click the link in my bio Y'all, we get it done in 30 days. It takes 30 days from recording day to the day that you have your full course ready to sell with the sales page, the homework, sheets, everything, like all everything broken down for you. So hopefully I'll be able to work with you guys soon. But otherwise, I will see y'all later in the next video. Bye, y'all.